Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking It's Today, about to react to this vid. It's titled, Cardi B admits to having surgery while pregnant. Talks offset and find out about pregnancy and some other things. So, you went under the knife when you knew you were pregnant? To add to your... Let's, let's watch the video. Okay, you guys, so I'm not gonna shame opens her body. up about her pregnancy journey now. She admits that she didn't know she was pregnant for a very long time, just like we didn't know. Now, she talks about how she got surgery and all the different things that she did okay, to okay. where she was yeah. concerned about her baby's health. She didn't quite know if her baby would come out healthy because, again, she didn't find out till she was further along. But she goes live and she talks about all the details. It's an interesting story, I will say. Now, she also talks about how she and Offset weren't really on good terms for pretty much the entire time leading up to her pregnancy this year and how they were not really intimate. So her pregnancy was pretty much, again, a surprise. But you guys go ahead and take a listen and let me know what you think in the comments. So why did you That's have all I have the, for you and I'll talk to you later while I was pregnant because I was pregnant for you know for a couple of months and I want to tell y'all this story about how I found out that I want to tell you this story about like this whole like about my baby because I know you guys find out late that I was pregnant but I also find out kind of late too and um I was gonna wait till like around my album time so I could tell y'all but it's like already here so Girl, I'm gonna keep it a thousand in January, right after I shot um like what? I went and got surgery. I got some more butt injections removed because you know it takes rounds to get your butt re injections removed. I, I got some of my butt injections removed and I also went to fix like you know certain things with of my fibrosis with surgeon made and everything so in january i got surgery right and february you know i was working whatever doing whatever the crap whatever so in march after i put out um that's crazy she says she got more removed after the like what video um, I wonder it's is she saying that she got removed after the video was uh was uploaded? Sorry, um, or did she get it removed after she recorded the video, or was it all in the same month? I'm very curious because I wonder did she do that because people were dragging her about how her body looked in the video? She said January. Let's let's look up the the receipts. This came out, oh, it came out in February. So she says she got it the next month. Okay, so she, maybe she saw how she was looking in this video. Cause child, I remember I reacted to this on my Patreon. And I was like, I'm glad she removed some, but was it enough? Enough? I'll say around, I don't know, if, if y'all could put out the date, it was like a couple of days after Jason Lee party. Like, it was like five days. Like, it was around March. It was like around March 20th or March 16th. It was like day? around those days, right? I woke up one morning I and, I, and my mouth tasted like copper. It literally tasted like copper. So I was like, oh my gosh. Let me brush my teeth. This only happened to me when I'm pregnant. So I was like, I automatically knew that I was pregnant. So I thought to myself, hmm, I got pregnant in January and I did a blood test. And I came out, I, was not, I wasn't pregnant. And I did two pregnancy tests. I did a blood test in uh, America and I did a blood test in Colombia. And I wasn't pregnant. Then I remember I had on Valentine's Day. So I was like, hmm, I'm probably like seven weeks, six weeks pregnant. And this was around the time that I'm like promoting, promoting, promoting the of enough. So I'm like, I'm pregnant, but I'm, I'm not really thinking much of it. 
So I'm not thinking much of it. Me and my baby dad, we were in very bad terms. I still called him, so and I was like, hey, I'm pregnant. And we kind of laughed about it because it's like, what the fuck? And um, we literally went to Columbia because he went with me when I got my surgery. And it's like, what the f How the f oh, Whatever. So then, you know, in March, I was in LA for like a month. So I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm like, all right, I'm not That's somebody screaming at someone one seven weeks pregnant. I don't know because no, I know for a fact. I'm here trying. I has good luck to in them. 20, in twenty twenty four, I know for a fact I only has in and I'm not on a low floor. I'm on a I'm high floor. floor. So for so me I'm to like, hear that okay, is whatever. whatever. Next thing you know, when I get to New York and I go to my OBGYN, yo who? When I get to New York and I go to my OBGYN, okay. <laughs> I, I told her like, hey. I'm pregnant, and she's like, "Oh, okay. So when did when was the last time I had I had said something? So I'm I'm probably like six, seven weeks pregnant." And me and my OBGYN were very, very, very close. Like I love her down. So she's like, "Okay, well, we're gonna do a sonogram. So we're just gonna see like how long far along are you?" And like, and I was like, "I'm talking to my OBGYN, and as she's doing my sonogram, she's like, oh my gosh.'" Because she's like, she talks like a little like Staten Island white girl, and I'm like, she's like, "Oh my gosh." And like where she said, oh my God, like so loud like that. I was like, what the f I got twins or something? Like she's freaking me out. So when I said that, she was like, you're not like seven weeks pregnant or six weeks pregnant. I'm like, what? She's like, you're like, you're like 17 weeks pregnant. And I'm like, what? She's like, actually this part of the body shows that like you're like 17 and this one shows like you're 18. Like I can't really figure it out. And I was like, no way. I only had one time this year. So then um, she, she was like, do you want to like see it? Because I'm not even looking at the sonogram. I don't even want to see it. When I look, it was a whole baby. Like I had a, like it's not like a little bean type of, it was a big baby. And then she was like, was you getting your period? And I was like, not really. I wasn't really getting. I didn't get my period in February, and I got it really light in March. But I guess it was because you know I just did a very like strong surgery. Like I just I just removed you know some part of my ass and I did a fibrosis removal. So anyways, like I was saying, right? Um, I was like, I was like, but Dr. G, like. Before I did my surgery, like I did a pregnancy test and I was negative. Like, first of all, when I went to Columbia, show I was supposed to get my surgery done as soon as I got there. And they delayed my surgery for a week because I had like, you know, like I had a really bad cough. So I was like, I I got I did blood work in New uh, in New York and I also did blood work in Columbia. Like I came out negative. Like I I'm not pregnant. So then when I started thinking, I was like hmm i really had a real nasty night on new year's like nasty night like like back to back type of you know what i'm saying like i had a real back to back type of sh so i was like maybe that's why i didn't keep positive when i got i did all the blood work for my surgery because i probably got pregnant on New Year's and then I went to get my surgery like on the 10th and so I just came off negative but I ain't gonna lie to you when I saw that sonogram and I saw that it's like a full baby I saw 10 toes and 10 fingers like I got real 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 emotional right away and I am not up I got real emotional and then I was like, what is it? What is it? And like my, uh, what would you wearing? She was like, it's a girl. Um, and when I found out it was a girl, I started crying even more because y'all know that I love raising girls. And 
something that I wasn't really thinking much about because, you know, I was so, like, busy and so much was going on in my life around that time. It stuck to my head for a very, very long time. And I just felt like God was telling me, like, it's like, this is your baby. Like, I sent this baby to you. That's why you didn't know how long thing. And I really, really do. And I'm... I'm just so in love with my baby. She's so cute. Like, she is the cutest, 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 cutest thing ever. She's such a tiny bean. And I feel like, um, after I gave birth to her, like, I have this whole, like, I don't know, like, I just have this sprout of energy. And, yeah, I just really feel like God sent me that baby for me. Like, it's, she's just, like, for me. Like, and I didn't tell my parents I was pregnant for a very long time because I was just scared to tell people. I, was, I I didn't tell nobody for a long time. Like, not even my own parents. I didn't tell my sister or nothing because I didn't really want it, like, for them to judge me. Like, it's like, you're about to have three kids. Are you out of your mind? And I didn't show for a minute because, you know, like I said, I just got surgery. But after a while, I was... You know, so really, it wasn't even like, like, my parents, they always come to my house. So... It got to the point that I looked very pregnant, but they weren't even asking me. They was just looking at me like, and then one day my dad was like, he was like, you know, I can see you're pregnant. You're not going to tell me out your mouth that you're pregnant. And I was like, dad, please don't make it awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't make it awkward for me. So yeah, I love my sweet little baby. She's so cute. I wish you guys could see her. I wish you guys could see her, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to show my baby until she's a little older because you know, y'all be, y'all, y'all be, y'all be doing, we're, we're putting in uh, you know, I just, I don't know, when they get older and healthier and everything, like, it's like... I wouldn't show them I, ever, though. I and I was, and I'm not even gonna lie to you due to the fact that I got, that I was pregnant, and I didn't know that I was pregnant for a long time, and I did all that surgery and everything, for a long time, I was a little bit afraid, because I was like, oh my God, did, did that ever affect my baby? Like, I, 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 I got a whole surgery and everything. But deep down in my heart, I knew that I was gonna have a good baby, because... First thing first, my OBGYN was not playing. She we she sent me to the best places to make sure the baby was super, super healthy. And then second of all, like I, I, like I said, I know for a fact that God sent me this baby himself. And God would have sent me nothing that is, wasn't going to be right. So it's like I felt really relieved too when I when I gave birth to my baby. She was perfect. No eyes, no nothing, no pain. And she's very responsive. Like it's like she's very responsive. Like it's like she hears the noise and she's like. And she knows she she knows like i'm her mom like it's like she like it's like like it's like yeah when you carry her it's like all right you can carry her but when i carry her though she know she know it's me she know it's mother carrying her like and we be sleeping for man long like we be like she sleeps she go to sleep real quick in my arms and she just she just doesn't want to wake up but she's in my arms she knows she knows i'm her mother so it's like ah oh, she's so beautiful and she's brown She's brown. I think she's gonna be a little bit darker than culture. I think she's gonna be a little darker than culture. I think she is. She's gonna be a little bit darker than culture. Why well, may have goose said, You loving that? I sure I love me. Listen, by 5 p.m., I need to take me a little nice one hour, 30 minutes. I'm <laughs> washing, like, mm, careful what you say, what you about to say. I thought that was an odd thing to add. Like, who cares what skin tone the baby is? Shut up. Nappy nap, okay? All right. So, yeah. Like, that's the only thing that you point out about the baby? But I'm happy that she had a safe delivery and the baby is healthy. That's all that matters. Uh, but, yeah, that's wild that, you know, this baby endured a whole-ass surgery while she's trying to nip and tuck this body that she's built. And this baby also experienced a you know what? That sounds terrible to say. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna say it out loud. But y'all know what was stated. This is what they told us. They told us that she slept with another man while she was pregnant with the baby. So the baby has been through a lot. The baby's already seen a lot. Okay. So prayers to this baby, and I, I, I hope that, you know, these children are being raised with love, and and as peaceful as a, of an environment as they can possibly get. Cause it's like. With parents like this, wow. And to hear her say, I love raising girls, like that, that was a bit disturbing for me personally. But you know what? I don't know this woman. She could be an amazing mom, so I don't want to take that away from her whatsoever. But I'm just pointing out the toxicity that's constantly being, you know, paraded on the internet that is going to live on the internet forever.
for these children to, to see. So it, it's just it's kind of sad. It kind of sucks for the kids. But I wish her and her, her babies well. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.